out. So, so pretty much with any smart appliance, mm -hmm. you're knowingly choosing this, this feature set or this convenience in exchange for information. Smart appliances have become the wave of the future, but could all that technology put you and your privacy at risk? This morning, Maria Durant is on your side with a look at those popular robot vacuum cleaners and whether they could be spying on you. The Roomba is one of the most popular iRobot vacuum cleaners, but when it's cleaning up your house, is it picking up more than just dirt? Huffman loves her Roomba vacuum. I love to clean, and I don't have a lot of time these days with two very busy, active um, teenagers and full-time job and um, running this house by myself, so I really wanted one. So, Susan, this is Ruby. This is Ruby. Oh. So for the past year, Ruby, yes, people named their Roombas, has been sweeping her home collecting dirt and mapping out the inside of where she lives. And it's great because I can set it any time that I need to around the house from my phone. Um, and if I'm at the grocery store, if someone's quickly coming over, I can just be like, oh, let's start her up and get her going. The app is really helpful too. Through Wi-Fi, Susan's able to control Ruby when she's not home. And now Roombas are even compatible with Amazon's Alexa. So as Ruby moves throughout the home, she's collecting data. It's where that data goes, some cybersecurity experts are worried. With Wi-Fi and, and the application on, on your phone, that data is actually, not only is it uh, creating a map of your home, but it's also sharing data uh, back to uh, the corporate environment. And despite what companies say, he believes data collected can be sold and shared. Nothing's really private anymore. For example, it integrates with your Amazon Echo. So that you can tell your phone or the Echo, please clean my home. But uh, Amazon, which owns Echo, is selling that data to Facebook, and Facebook is selling it to advertisers to advertise products to you. So how do you protect yourself? The experts say the only way to truly protect your information is to disable the Wi-Fi. There we go, that should be but it. But Huffman says that defeats the convenience of why she loves her smart vacuum cleaner. For me, it was just a great, helpful purchase. We contacted Roomba. A company spokesperson says the iRobot does not sell customer data and that all data collected is encrypted. To date, the iRobot has not suffered a breach of user data connected to the product. For Good Day Columbus, I'm Maria Durant. Now, I wonder, though, if it says the iRobot is not selling data, that doesn't mean Roomba isn't selling data. See how specific know. it was? Leaves yeah. the question open, doesn't it? What would you name yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's actually the best, best question of all. That is a good question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have to think about that. I'm, right. I'm just old, you know, too old-fashioned to switch to anything remote control <laughs> like that. Give me my good old Dyson vacuum, and away I go. I know. What would you name yours? I'd want it to be something, like, clever. Right. Um... Let me think about it. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm going to think about it. Yeah. Poses the question, and now none of us has a good answer. It would be funny if it was just like a regular name like Bob. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Uh -huh. yeah. Do your thing, Bob. Frank. All right. All right. That's her answer. Okay. <laughs> there you go.